Welcome to another episode of Burritos Revenge. <laughs> Alright, in today's episode of Burritos Revenge, what we're going to do is we're going to make a little redstone display unit here. So let me finish this off real quick and we'll be right back. Alright, so I've got everything set out here for this display unit. And I, as you can see here behind me, I've got it on both, all four sides actually, not just behind me, but in front of me also. See, all four sides. I got a, uh, all the redstone lamps put into place, and um, let's uh, let's give you a little tutorial on how to put this thing together. Right? So the way this thing works is, each four lights is technically going to be one bit of display, and uh, so let me get this set up a little bit here because it's kind of weird how this works. All right, put a couple things there. We're gonna put some redstone torches here. As you can see here, I got the, uh, well, I mean, there you go. You got those two bottom ones are lit. And I, I put in those two stones right there. The two top ones are lit too. So those four lights right there are all going to be lit up. And let me get up here real quick. We're going to put three repeaters. The one on the right is set on two tick delay. And the one on the left is set normal. Two redstone torches right there. And then we're also going to put a, well, actually, let me take care of these blocks out the way. Those aren't really needed there, and I should have put the block, whatever, okay. And then we're going to put this block right here with a comparator on this side. Yeah, it's a comparator. And that pretty much it right there. That's a, That little segment right there is going to be repeated throughout the entire thing, all the way around. This thing is tolerable, and each one of those units like that, is controlled by each one of those comparators and what that's pretty much going to do is it's going to control everything for us so let me give me a second here let me let me finish this off real quick let's actually you know what let's do a third person time lapse of me building this one light real quick all right so there we go all right guys here's the time lapse during this time so i want to do uh, two things actually number one i want to talk a little bit about the uh aquatic update for ps4 console edition and also the second thing is I want to play a song for you guys that I actually uh, worked on for this uh, this episode pretty much. Um, both things have had difficulties. <laughs> the song and the aquatic update. Number one, let's go to the aquatic update. The aquatic update for console edition is yet to be out. And uh, for those of you who are subscribed to uh, Twitter for 4J, you guys know that the um, they recently sent out a tweet saying that it's going to be a while for the aquatic update on console and in my opinion that's pretty much bs i mean the aquatic update i've been working on this thing for well over a year on top of that what is what's going on with the super duper graphics update that was explained last year also for minecraft that was supposed to have been out almost a year ago now but say la vie that's, that's that's how things go with the uh, gaming world i mean Debugging is a thing <laughs> when it comes to uh, any kind of gaming because I mean anybody who's a pr computer programmer knows about debugging and it does take a long time. Don't get me wrong. So I understand when there's bugs to be fixed. It takes a while, but th they've just been kind of lax on the aquatic update for console. And I think that has something to do with Minecraft being owned now by Microsoft. Honestly, that's my honest opinion. I think because Microsoft owns Minecraft now, and Sony doesn't want to play ball with them, especially with the uh, Better Together update, they're punishing us. And it's kind of unfortunate, because this is a great game, and, and they're punishing the players for something that a corporation has chosen to do. And it is what it is. Honestly, it is what it is. And um, that's pretty much all I really got to say about that, you know? It's just, it is what it is, so, that's right there is giving us difficulty, and, I don't know, let's, let's talk about this song I want to play for you here, um, I've been messing around with this song, and I've been trying for the last, uh, about two days now to transfer the song over into a format that can be read by the, uh, by Share Factory, but for some reason I'm a, it, I have it set as an MP3 and it doesn't want to play. It doesn't have any audio at all for the Share Factory, so that's kind of unfortunate. Also, 
Um, but I am going to play you this song off of my phone. So it's probably going to sound a little weird. But either way, it is what it is also. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think about the song or about the aquatic update down in the comment section. I would love to get a discussion about either one. So uh, without further ado, here's the, uh, the song. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that song. Um, it, it was, it's, it's nothing special, but it is a nice little burrito revenge song. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did. Um, it was a lot of fun to make that song. But uh, anyway, so let's, uh, now that I got everything sort of here set up, uh, all the pistons are in place, as you can see all, all, on top bottom, and the bottom. And I got all the redstone lamps and comparators and all the components for this display all set up let's uh let's head downstairs and let's uh show you guys so far what i've done i've also want to explain one thing in the tutorial um <laughs> one thing I, I noticed afterwards like after i started building the uh the second uh display um that the first one that i showed you i actually built it wrong it, it was one level up higher than it was supposed to be but i mean if you guys are interested i will definitely uh make you guys a tutorial on how to build this display unit and i'll make sure how to do it right just uh hit me up in the comments let me know if you guys want to see something like that because i mean the display that i've got is huge and it's it's totally tolerable you can make it as big or as little as need be but just remember the each one of those comparators controls four dots so as you can see here let me oh, oh jesus oh, there we go okay there's an end. <laughs> and the end is big. It looks a little small from way down here. But let me back up so you can see a little bit. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think I, uh, I forgot a redstone <laughs> comparator on the top to uh, give it a cauldron water. Oops, that's uh, that's my mistake. <laughs> All right, let me, let me go fix that real quick, and we'll be right back. Okay, so now that that's all completely fixed there, I got the... Uh, all the cauldrons in the right spot so let's uh head downstairs real quick and i'll sh show you exactly what it looks like all right so now that we're down here there we go it's all correct now it says noob you know or newbie because of course this is newbie labs which is what we're going to call our bill huge office oh, this water okay 
<laughs> okay, there we go. I am a noob. That's that that at least I say more. So there we go. It says noob. It's looking good. It's looking fantastic, guys. Oh, there's a couple of holes I gotta fix there. Um, so let me get back up there real quick, and we'll do the uh, other sides of the cauldrons to finish the other side of uh, of laps. So now I can say lap, right? Okay, that's all done. <laughs> I know it's a lot of jumping around, doing this, doing that, but it's really monotonous of all this stuff that I'm doing here. So I'm pretty sure you guys want to see that. But boom, there we go, labs, newbie labs. So now I just got to pretty much now that we got the coldness in place, everything is set up, the pistons uh, feed tape is correct. I just gotta make a timing circuit real quick for this thing. So give me some time for that. Um, I, I know it's been a long time between episodes of burritos revenge but this project has taken me far longer between all the resource gathering and the actual redstone itself but <coughs> excuse me in the end i think it's worth it there you go it's going popping through here goes the labs here comes the noob actually there goes the noob here comes the labs <laughs> and vice versa yeah i think it's pretty cool the way it pops up and in and out noob labs noob labs uh, I, I originally wanted it to scroll from left to right but because uh a piston constraints and that b is messed up somehow <laughs> anyway here we are back upstairs and uh i've been working up here a little bit as you can see the um the original spot there everything's been changed out to white concrete i've got a little office space here and right here in this little area, I want to make a potion brewer. But let me let me show you around real quick. Show you what I've been doing around here. You see, I got a little villager up here. I gotta trap them. It's pretty plain. Still haven't decorated nothing. I just kind of laid up walls and stuff for my office because this entire floor up here is uh, pretty much my office. And um, yeah, <laughs> here's another portal. There's a little map. Um, we walk down this little hallway here. You know, we got my little office area right there that I'm working on. A little hallway in the back here. And there's the other side of the original area. We left the original hidey hole that we started off with Burritos Revenge. It's remember this building never used to be here. It used to be a mountain, so I thought about deleting you know, erasing all that, but I think I'm gonna keep that area there just as a memory thing but right here where i'm looking at right now we're gonna do a potion brewer so let me do that and let me do some decorations that will be right back okay so here i am i'm in my office as you can see here i've got a couple things laid out um uh, it's not completely done yet guys all right it's not done yet but let me show you around got a little pictures and put over here on the right and if i can get out there you go and over here, I've got some, the map is there now. I still have to search those maps. I got a couple of pictures up again. Up front in the reception area, I've been working over here. Got a couple of chairs so you can sit down, a couple of rugs, made it look a little more festive, gave it some color. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Bam, here's my potion brewer. This is, uh, I'm kind of proud of this thing right here. I've actually copied this from a, uh, a mumble jumbo build from about two years ago actually he posted it up how to make this automated potion brewer but uh for for console it still works but anyway that's guys that's uh that's pretty much it for the episode thanks for watching don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and we'll see you guys next time on burritos revenge <laughs>